Hey guys, it's Roman from Lexus South Point here. I just want to do a quick video of this 22LX600. We just received it. It's an Atomic Solar's block interior. And thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and uh, commenting on below the video. I do uh, appreciate the feedback. So let's begin with the car. We have 22 inch wheels. Pretty similar design compared to the previous generation LX. Um, of course, we have the name change to LX600 from LX570 and a completely new powertrain. We have a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 compared to the 5.7 liter V8 we had in the past. This would be the same powertrain as the new Toyota Tundra would have, which is pretty cool. Very nice addition uh, to the powertrain lineup and for Lexus and Toyota. And this car looks very nice in person, much better than everybody expected. On the pictures, uh, pictures don't really do the justice. At least in uh, in my opinion, like they they look very nice in person. Very big SUV, very luxurious. Of course, we have uh, soft op soft closing doors. It sucks right in. Got a brand new interior as well, fully redesigned. A lot of similarity was the um, 22 NX. So for example, the steering wheel that we have is very, very like the NX. Of course, it's a, a little bit bigger, a little bit different design, but um, um, among all the new Lexuses, it looks the closest to that. Then we have two brand new screens. We have wireless charger in the middle. A lot of uh, new features that we have for the new LX that weren't in the previous one. We have uh, auto hold. Uh, we have all kinds of um, sports modes on there as well with the drive select modes. We have sports, sport plus, comfort and eco. I'll show you guys the back a little bit. So of course the back one row has the tablets with the volume adjustment and the source button, as, as well as on and off. We have heated seats and heated steering wheel for the back row as well as the front row. Mark Levinson sound system, the sun shades, as well as uh, tint on the, on the windows. And this one has the uh, smaller sunroof just in the front. And I really like the black uh, rooftop. Looks pretty cool. Very good amount of room too for the back. So if you guys do have kids or even uh, grown up adults in the back, there will be plenty of room. The tailgate opens fairly quick, quicker than on the previous generation. We have power adjustment for the third row. And the second row is controlled by power and manual controls. So what we have here, we have the uh, electric adjustment for the third row and also the um, plug-in and the uh, cup holder. So even the third row passengers would have everything in the vehicle that they need. Let me show you guys uh, inside a little bit. I'll show you guys the screen and the infotainment system when the major changes. All right, so we're hopping in. Very, very quiet inside. Let's start it up. All right. So let's start with the top screen here. So the same design or similar to the 22NX that we have. Of course, we have uh, navigation, music, phone control, uh, vehicle information and settings. Uh, we have a nice big volume knob on the top here, which is pretty nice. Easy accessible. Underneath we have the climate control. Um, of course, it's all sensor. You can change up the sounds of how the buttons beep and such too, which is good to know. Because uh, I, f I personally find it a little bit annoying, these sounds. But uh, yeah, you can change them up. 
then we have the drive modes the crawl control um, low low four wheel drive and high four wheel drive then we have the mode select the mode select button you can switch and it turns from custom like it actually has actually a custom mode too which is extra for this model here sport s plus sport s normal comfort and eco then we have auto hold uh, lock and differential traction control and air ride to lift uh, up your lx up and down and lower it of course heated seats heated steering wheel ventilated seats nice uh actually quite a bit of room here on this uh, on the inside there so you can throw not one but maybe two or even three phones if you had to we have the wireless charger pad as well nice uh, good size cup holders here nothing around the cup holders that will be in its way when you are having a drink which is nice to nice to see of course we have uh, power steering column this is the driver dash revs up to 6,000 well the max rev is 7,000 but ideally you would rev up to that 5,800 rpm very nice very quiet inside the fit and finish is phenomenal on these guys um, i really like the wooden inserts here in the steering wheel and also above here it's also a combination of the on the doors very cool very cool car very nice build if you are looking to get one you will be very very happy with one and of course being an lx they are probably going to stay the same for the next six seven years if not longer and considering this is a 3.5 liter powertrain which is fairly good you know even in these days no more v8 i, I suppose could be possibly coming out with the hybrid just like tundra is but we'll see that in the future but thank you guys for watching and let me know if you guys have any questions below in the comments